fucking tracks! Hello everybody! Hello everybody with feedback! You guys hear that feedback? Awesome! I always love feedback, man. Always, always. Uh, thanks again for joining me, Max Tracks, on this beautiful, hot Phoenix Saturday. Man, it's hot here. It's like 115. Ooh, it's insane out there. But um, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Be part of the Max Tracks movement. We're going through the tracks, man. It's been great. A lot of fun. Um, so you know, for uh, this one, we're gonna go old school. We had a, I had a great feedback from Morbid Visions when we did. So going back and doing the the mother load of all the my first hit of all time, Troops of Doom. With the feedback, Troops of Doom. Before we start this, uh, happy birthday to my brother Igor. His birthday was yesterday. He turned five zero, catching up to me. So happy birthday, feliz aniversário, parabéns pra você nessa data querida, muitas felicidades, muitos anos de vida, Goka. Yeah, happy birthday Igor. Um, thanks everybody watching. This is a cool song, man, you know, it was written in, in max teenage years in my bedroom in Belo Horizonte. And uh, with, with all, there's a really cool picture on uh, Instagram, if you guys find it, it's me laying down my, my Bel Horizonte bed with posters of Venom and Creator, Celtic Frost, painted on the wall, Death. And uh, this is uh, where this was, this song was born. I remember the first thing that, that happened for the creation of Troops of Doom. I was already really, you know, uh, into playing cover songs. And one of the cover songs that I play that made a big mark on me was Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. And uh, so Troops of Doom really comes, is very, very much inspired by, by Heaven and Hell. Um, so when I learned Heaven and Hell, I was feeling really good. Oh, I know how to play Heaven and Hell, Black Sabbath, which is... cool you know like the beginnings of it learning to play cover song that's why i tell everybody out there your guitar player play cover songs you know learn from from your idols learn from your masters to me tony Iommi is the, the riff master of all time i read his book i was very inspired by his book i got to meet him on tour later in my life which is a mind-blowing experience and he was he couldn't be more of a nice guy very very a, a gentleman and a, a really really cool person um, so yeah, there you have it. So that's the beginning, influenced by that. I, I came up with very iconic. We just took to the dark side, heavier. Without much further ado, let's do it. Troops of Doom, tune to E standard. I'll play the original first. Fuck, 
destruction. Let it start with down. So go close. I will be here. Let your wings corrosion. Tell you. still killer today it still sounds fucking killer and aggressive and more metal than ever so uh you know open riff first then you can do like this the second time around just put the one finger on top of it so it goes so the first one is speeds up there is which is like cool is like old school recordings there's no click track back in those days man nobody recorded with click tracks and that's just pure power and uh, the drum speeds up and the, the riff speeds up with the drums I go and this is very a uh, uh, pretty much a black metal riff I love it Let's carry on with it. Break down. Destroy base. from the original Morbid Vision recording and then we decided um, to re-record it for uh, Schizophrenia. We went to the studio in Bello trying to make a better recording. So we did a new version, a little bit more trash. So it's the same version pretty much except for the end. I don't sing the last verse of it and the playing is a little bit more with trash influences, which is kind of cool. It's like a, a new take on the same song with a really cool intro. Um, 
from some of the bands that cover that. Um, some of my favorite ones, Napalm Death, they they covered that a bunch of years ago. Uh, and it, it came out really, really fucking cool. You guys should check that out. Um, and uh, yeah, I know you guys always love the, the also the little stories that I kind of say to you in between the, the riffs and the songs. And hope you guys don't mind. I have a, a couple more stories for you. <laughs> I always have stories. Hope I'm not, not uh, bothering you. Uh, so kind of like... Uh, one of the funniest stories was the how I get my first mic. It's it's a Vando story, by the way. Very hoodlum, Max Cavalera, at probably 15, 16 years old. So we had this plan to go see this new wave band. Uh, they were playing in, in a little club in Belo. So we went to the show, and then the plan was, you know, we didn't like the kind of music at all, so we just went to steal the microphone from them. Um, so when the lights between songs when it get when it got dark, they're gonna push me into the stage. They're gonna run, grab the mic, shove it down my pants, jump back in the crowd, and get the fuck out of there before we get caught. And uh, the plan worked, believe it or not, it fucking worked. It was insane, you know. The band was playing all this pop bullshit crap, plastic fucking shit. We're there waiting. The lights went out, got dark. They launched, they launched me on the stage. I ran up to the to this microphone stand, grabbed the microphone, shoved the microphone down my pants, jumped back in the crowd, ran out of like a madman, and got my first mic. <laughs> I wish I still had that, man. So many cool memories from that time that I wish I had it. Another thing that was cool, my first guitar that my mom got got it for me, and. Um, and I remember I nicknamed it Podreira. From the Brazilians watching that, they know what it means. Podreira, the rotten. A Podreira do Brasil. The rotten was a very piece of shit guitar that I had that I remember whenever, whenever I went like this. Pieces of wood would go to my finger. And it would like start bleeding. It was such a, such a shitty guitar, man. And, and then I remember bringing the guitar home and playing and going, where's the sound, you know, that, that I hear on the record? I don't hear that sound. So I went back to the store and asked the guy, there's, there's a problem with my guitar. I play it, but there's it doesn't sound like the records that I listen to. He goes, well, you need a, you need an amplifier, you need guitar cables, and you probably need a pedal. And I, I'm like, what? You need all that fucking shit, you know? So little by little, we, we, we got a, a little amplifier that <laughs> was, a, was a Giannini that we plug everything in it, vocals, bass, and two guitars. I don't know how we plug it in, and I don't know how that thing didn't explode and electrocute it, all of us, man. <laughs> it was insane. But um, yeah, so those, are, those get, you know, that's the hustle. You know, you got to hustle for, for the metal, for the music. And so that's kind of like the, the things that we did, you know. So uh, I, I know the guy that bought the Podrera. I tried to buy him the back from him. He wouldn't sell it to me. So hopefully he's still in good hands in Brazil, you know. Um, hopefully one day, I don't know, maybe I can buy it back. But the chances are very minimal. Uh, another cool thing is in a couple of the, the future episodes, I'm going to bring it back to the Warlock, White Warlock, BC Rich put it behind me so you guys can see it. It's kind of really, it doesn't play anymore, but uh, you know, I got I, I gave it to my son Igor, and I'm gonna ask him if I can show it to you guys. I think you guys would like to, you have a kick looking at that very iconic guitar. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's continue now. Uh, I'll play with the new version, a little more trash. Um, so here we go, Troops of Doom from Schizophrenia now, the re-recorded version with the intro. Very metal intro. With the guitars noisy. Water break. Thank you. 
sauce pour tuer, c'est une sauce pour couler. I love doing this thing for you guys during this quarantine. Well, we're all part of the same family, family of metal. A couple of shout outs I like to give now. Um, yesterday was very cool. I did an interview with the uh, Koreanian radio, and those guys were really awesome, man. Really, really cool guys. And uh, and uh, they, they actually got in touch with Gloria because of Max Tracks, and they got in touch with her, and she set up uh, an interview. Gloria is really good with that stuff. She set up a really cool interview. And uh, we talk about all, about all kinds of cool stuff, old stuff, new stuff, what's going on. Because I'm jamming right now, we're writing new Soulfly with my son Zion. And also yesterday we dropped the new Killer BQ song, Deconstruct, Discon Deconstructing Self-Destruction. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I, I think it was, it's, it's a cool song. I'm excited for the record. It's dropping in November. Um, so a shout out to to uh, Koranian Radio. Thanks for playing my shit, and we keep we keep uh, banging together. Also shout out to Necrot. Thank you so much for the merch. I got the box today, and it was like Christmas at the Max Cavalera house. I opened the box; it was full of goodies. Fucking thank you so much, Chad, Sony, and uh, Luca. I love you guys so much, and I'll be wearing uh, I'll be wearing uh, the Necrot with pride. Uh, very cool, and also a shout out to all the uh, Max Picks now. I'm gonna do this Max Picks in Portuguese. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, pra galera do Brasil, Max Picks. Esse aqui que eu peguei, ó. Crisium, Crisium, galera. Aqui, ó. The Great Execution. Meus irmãos aí do, do sul do Brasil. Meus brothers do Crisium. Ó, oh, meu. Eu lembro que esses caras, na época que eu tocava com Sepultura, que a gente ia na galeria, eu lembro que o Toninho sempre me, me pentelhava, ah, me dava, eu ficava me pentelhando, tem essa banda legal, cara, tem essa banda legal, Crise, me dava demotape, me dava é, adesivo. E eu não posso ficar mais é, orgulhoso, eu tenho tanto orgulho deles de ser brasileiro, de ter uma banda que carrega a gente lá fora, Igual o Chris não faz, toca no mundo inteiro, respeitado por todos os death metal, das bandas de death metal do mundo inteiro. Os caras têm maior respeito, os caras são, são muito fã de Max Cavalera, tem, tem uma. Tem, você sente aquela honestidade, né? Aquela pura honestidade. E, pô, muito legal ser amigo dos caras e esse disco é muito bom. Eu gosto de, de todos, o último eu achei bom pra caralho. E esse aqui eu também tenho escutado bastante Great Execution, se vocês não tem, pega aí 
E, pô, muito orgulho de ser brasileiro e de ser fã de Crisium. Se vocês, vocês estiverem do Crisium, estiverem assistindo, um abraço para vocês aí do Max Cavalera. Sempre com vocês aí. O resto aí da galera toda do Brasil, se cuidem. Fiquem com saúde. E a gente se vê ano que vem com o turnê. Com certeza vai rolar mais turnê no Brasil e no, fora no mundo aí também. Mas... É, muito, muito agradeço muito por todos os fãs aí que assistem o Max Tracks. Talvez eu olhe um Max Tracks bastante em português quando eu fizer tipo porrada. Se eu, acho que eu, fizer, se eu fizer a porrada ou plato ou plomo, vai dar para falar mais português. Eu sei que você sempre pede para me falar mais português, falar brasileiro, né? E, então vai rolar aí mais no futuro. Thank you so much, man. Thank you guys. Uh, it, was, it was a great Max Tracks. I'll do one more time. I'll do one more run to Troops of Doom. Try to sing with it also. Um, so let's go. Facebook Live, Max Cavalera, Max Tracks, Troops of Doom. Make sure you guys also check out the YouTube video of my, my little son, Igor. Igor uh, motherfucking Cavalera Jr. Is, it's, is what it says on YouTube. There's like 800,000 views on that thing. He was really little. He had this suicidal tennis his hat backwards, man. It's the, the coolest thing ever. It's, it's what... Dreams are made of it, man. You know, when he played Cavalera Conspiracy Rec album was out and we went on tour and he asked me to play that song and he could barely see me. It's like this little head in Igor's huge drum kit. No sound uh, What's that? No sound check, too. Yeah, he didn't sound check. It was like, I can do it. Like, yo, what the fuck? What are you gonna play? And it was a festival. There's like 50,000 people and uh, kids got balls. He's got huevos. <laughs> as we say in, in Spanish. So hello to all the Spanish uh, countries out there too. Hola amigos, hola todos, cabrones. And everybody else in the world, Anya, I know you're watching, and all the top fans out there, fucking cool, sending your messages, I love it, man. Um, so there you have it, Troops of Doom, old school, classic, let's keep it rolling. We got uh, another one coming out next Tuesday. And uh, go check out the new 
Killer BQ song, Deconstructing Self Destruction. Check out Cranium Radio, support Necrot, support the underground, Creeping Death. What's that? Healing Magic just came out too. Yeah, also Healing Magic, I mentioned that in the last uh, episode. They're either, uh, you know, they're signed out to Blood Blast in, uh, Records. You guys can find them, all their stuff. Um, so thank you so much. Yeah, another Max Drex. Fuck yeah. I love it. Troops of Doom was great. Happy birthday to Igor, 50 years old. And uh, also one thing, if you guys are going to go out, put a fucking mask on. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep this thing safe, man. Necro gave me this mask. Let's see here. There you go. <laughs> Uh, hard to get through the years. All right, yeah, if you guys are going to go out, put a mask on so you stay protected. Thank you, Nekorat. Thank you, all the fans out there. Everybody stay safe. Um, thank you for watching Max Trex. Keep jamming your guitars. Keep following your dreams. And we'll see you next Tuesday with another Max Trex. Fucking love you guys. Trouble sleeping. Okay. He's meant to roll this, man. It's crazy. Cavalera Pilo, Bandera do Brasil. The living room of the Cavaleras is full of metal every Saturday. And we love it like that. Thank you so much. Let's head bang together. Fucking tracks! Tuesday with another match fucking trash.